Welcome back and in our sports news, Venezuela erupted in celebrations as their team reached the semi-finals of the Copa America for the first time on Sunday with a 2-1 victory over Chile. Cheers broke out in the 35th minute when centre-back Oswaldo Vizcarondo gave the Venezuelans the lead with a header from a Juan Arango free kick. And just nine minutes from time, left-back Gabriel Chiquero scored Venezuela's winning goal after Chilean keeper Claudio Bravo had parried another Arango free kick. This is Venezuela's second ever victory over Chile after 22 meetings between the two sides. And Venezuelan Alejandro Blanco predicted the team would go all the way. Venezuela will face Paraguay in Mendoza on Wednesday for a place in the final. Meanwhile, Paraguay, who did not have a single shot on target in 120 minutes of a goalless Copa America quarterfinal, sent Brazil crashing out 2-0 on penalties on Sunday. Brazil joined host Argentina, their rivals, in the previous two finals in going out of the tournament at the same stage after Argentina lost on penalties to Uruguay on Saturday. Brazil coach Mano Menezes says that despite the loss, he can't say his team played badly. In golf, Darren Clark's long wait for his first major title ended when he fought off a pack of Americans to claim a magnificent three-shot victory at a windswept British Open on Sunday. Playing in the championship for the 20th time, the burly 42-year-old Northern Irishman tamed the treacherous Royal St George's Lynx to protect his overnight lead. He could even afford two bogeys at the finish as he tapped in at the 18th for a masterful final round 70 to win from playing partner Dustin Johnson and Phil Mickelson. The Britons strolled off with a £900,000 winner's cheque. Today was pretty tough. I wasn't too bad until um, until I hit my second shot in 18 uh, when I knew I had four putts or something from there. I figured I could manage that and then my thoughts started sort of running away with me a little bit but I uh, managed to keep them in check but um, you know it's, it's fantastic. Mark Cavendish delivered a textbook sprint in the finale of the 193 kilometres of the 15th stage of the Tour de France on Sunday to snatch his fourth victory in this year's event. Perfectly set up by his lead-out man Mark Renshaw, Britain Cavendish surged with a 200 metres to go before the line to beat American Tyler Farrar and Italian Alessandro Patacci. The win, his 19th overall in the Tour de France, strengthened his top spot in the race for the green jersey. In the points classification, Cavendish now leads Spaniard Jose Joaquin Rojas by 37 points and Belgian champion Philippe Gilbert by 71 points before the second rest day in this tour. The overall's leader's yellow jersey remained on the back of Frenchman Thomas Vaucler, who finished within the main pack. Spain's Danny Pedrosa sealed his return from injury by winning the German Grand Prix on Sunday, while compatriot and MotoGP world champion Jorge Lorenzo snatched second place for Yamaha at the final corner. Australian Casey Stoner, who had started on pole position and led for a while, finished third and his overall championship lead over Lorenzo was cut to 15 points with nine races left. Pedrosa's win was his first podium finish since he won in Portugal in May before he broke his collarbone in a collision with Italian Marco Simoncelli at the French Grand Prix that same month. The Spaniard had seized the lead briefly at the start and fought a three-way battle with both Stoner and Lorenzo, taking turns at the front before Pedrosa again led for the last nine laps. And, 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 and win, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. I'm and finally this evening, Dubai is in for a treat in October as US reality TV star Kim Kardashian and her mother Kris Jenner are coming to the UAE on a three-day visit. Kim and Kris are heading over for, a, for the first time to launch a milkshake franchise, the first outside of the US, Millions of Milkshakes. The milkshake bar lets customers design their own milkshakes and the Kardashians join a list of American stars who have created shakes for the outlet and are featured on the menu from Leonardo DiCaprio to Pamela Anderson. And with that, let's take a look at the local and international weather forecast for tomorrow.
round before we head out, here are the top stories again. NEC holds awareness lecture for Abu Dhabi Electoral College. UAE celebrates Nelson Mandela's life and work. And massive fire breaks out in New Delhi. Well, that brings us to the end of the bulletin. As always, we'd love to hear your comments. You can write to us at news at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04 367 2230. From the entire news team, it's goodbye for now.